Or I can get energy. It's your turn. 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 It's your all right. Um, good afternoon. Right. Can anybody hear me? Yeah, yeah we can, can hear you. Okay, can you hear me? Okay, good. All right. Yes, we can hear you from online. People online can hear you. I think it's... Um, yes, yes. Okay, from the entire place. Okay. Uh, my name is Edgar Corebo. Yeah, uh, most um, for some of the NGOs in um, Abuja, I, I do more like um, consulting for them. Maybe whenever they're having a program and um, we need to um, enlighten the um, children. Like I was the last one, the last one I did was in the um, Federal Government Girls College in um, Abaji, where we have to go and show them videos of um, girls that are into sciences and building things. I think there was a school, that school is in Lagos, where um, they used um, urine they are urine to generate electricity to power their houses. And these girls were just in secondary school. So now, based on the topic for um, today, um, in as much as um, the um, focus is on the girl child, we found out that if you leave um, the boys alone, the girls will be well equipped for the, for few, for their, for the future, but they may end up with a uh, with a male child that is not up to their standard. Do you get me? So for the male child, you need to also equip yourself. Because now if you check all the um, the ladies we mentioned, um, Aoshika, uh, Che Amanda and everything, if you go and check some of them, they are um, husbands. You will find out that their husband also high, has them um, high profile. They're also high profile individuals. Most of them also have businesses. Like Awoshika's husband has a business he's running. And I think he's a petroleum um, engineer or something. Do you understand what I'm saying? So um, most times, just like when they say, um, behind every successful man, you see a lady. The same thing can also be done in the reverse. Behind every successful um, woman or a lady, there is a male or a husband that is motivating her to aspire. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, and for the, um, what do you call it now? I, I had some questions. Um, for instance, uh, one of the questions was the, one of the girls asking that uh, a situation where you are forced to marry somebody because he's wealthy. Yes, I think uh, that's more like a damage control. But I think sometimes there are some things you can do to avoid it getting to that stage. And one of the ways of um, avoiding it getting to that stage is if you're a girl child, always create time to discuss with your parents. Let them know your vision. Let them know your plan. And as they know your vision and, and your plan, you also need to show them the steps you are taking to achieve your personal vision and plan. You want to become a medical doctor. If you show them the basic steps and you can let your parents see what you have seen. If those kind of um, things come up where somebody is saying, I want to marry your daughter, say no. Let my daughter finish school. Then we can readdress the situation. Like in the not here now, it's very rampant where a girl who is around um, 15, 16, someone who has graduated several years ago, just say he wants to marry her. So there was this particular case in my office. The guy was the one that is, the, is from the north. They actually trained this girl, was taking her private lesson initially. Then um, the girl got admission into the university. I think she's going into the medical line. Now the guy wanted to marry this girl. So it's obvious that the age difference is much. But because the parents were educated, they didn't want to tell the man outrightly no. So what they told him was that, look, she's just she's just got admission to 200 level. So you will have to wait for her to finish. So maybe before that time, should have been more matured mentally to now know if she'll go ahead with this person or she'll say, this is what I want to do. So now the girl child herself has to prove herself that she knows what she's doing and you need to carry your parents along. If you don't, let, let, let's say your parents are not that enlightened, one of your uncles or aunties may be enlightened. 
You see, family is key. Relationship is key. You will have at least one uncle or one auntie that you know that when I talk to them, they can talk to my parents. Do you understand what I'm saying? And we cannot, um, we cannot remove absolutely the boy child because if the girl, um, if the lady is trained to PhD level, it's obvious that whoever she want to marry must have PhD. Take for instance, if a girl is in the, um, let's say she has a degree, the least person she can say she wants to marry is someone who has a degree. Now, I've seen a relationship where the guy did not go to school, the lady went to school. And sometimes the guy is being threatened by the success of the lady. So now, if the guy is mentally built to know that, look, my wife's or my spouse progress is my progress, you'll find out that the lady will excel. So if you check all these other ladies that are doing very well in um, social medias and everything, and in the uh, working for the government, have their personal business and everything, they have a very encouraging man, someone that has a good mental value system. Do you understand what I'm saying? So as the girl child, as we're focusing on the girl child, where, where the boys can work on themselves is to ensure that when, you, when the boy also is growing, you need to know that we're in a system where now things have changed, things have evolved. Like now, I know that we still have, like when I was doing my NYC, there was this girl that was in SS2, there was a boy in SS1. The boy in SS1 was talking to me. That was, I think that was somewhere in Benway. The boy was talking to me. This girl that is actually the senior came to me and wanted to ask a question. The boy interjected and said, the girl does not have a right to talk when he's talking. Knowing fully well that the girl is the senior in, in school. So now, which means that you as the ball child, there's a, there's a high tendency that with the way things are going now, wherever you find yourself, take for instance, like in banks now, we have uh, more ladies that are branch managers of a bank. So if you are a boy and you have this mindset of and uh, the women are not seen or whatever, when you get to that bank, you are going to have issues with having a lady as your boss. So. You need to see her as someone who is more enlightened than you. That was how she got to that seat. So you put that gender thing aside, learn all what you can learn. If the bank is um, opening up or there is an opportunity for someone to take that seat, based on how you have worked with her, she can say, yeah, this person is qualified to go and handle another branch that they've opened. So the boy child also has a significant role to play when as the girl child is being developed. And like um, somebody rightly said, once you can explain and you can express yourself appropriately, especially now for STEM now, we have more opportunities for the, in sciences now, we have more opportunities for the ladies than the males. For the uh, ladies, if you are into science, the science subject, whatever you are studying the sciences, there are scholarship, only 100% to degree, master's level. Now that is not given to the male child, why? Because they believe that the male child have taken over that science sector in terms of production and everything. So, and there are many things you can do in the sciences. Now, even if you check very well now, there are some scientists that become businessmen and they are doing business according to the science that they've studied. So, um, being an entrepreneur is not about buying and selling. It can be about production. Maybe someone who studied chemical engineering or somebody studies chemistry. From the chemistry or biochemistry, they can create um, using um, locally made um, materials, herbs, soap, to be produced soap that will be good for the African skin. Instead of all these uh, chemicals that they put into the, this thing. So the girl child should be more encouraged. I think we should have more encouragement in the sciences so that people can think production. Because once there's production in the country, then there'll be quick development. It won't be a buying and selling and whatever you're importing this even down to wares even down to match stick somebody in the somebody in the sciences that studied chemistry or industrial chemistry can actually create those kind of things and we don't have to be importing matches from the um from other from china and other countries so that's what i have to say oh everybody was hearing me hello yes we were, we were. Oh, okay. thank you very okay. much okay all right yeah Thank you.